I'm His Royal Highness Gert Rudbucket, and in this tiresome program, I've had to travel the length and breadth of Great Britain to discover the paranormal, stories stranger than life, and the downright weird. My good man. Jeez, pass me the royal microphone, would you, my good man? Oh, thank you very much. Let's don't milk it. Hello and welcome to Gerd's Bucket. In the first of the series, I've been dragged to Morecambe. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's a man like Gerd Ruppucket doing in Morecambe? Well, every now and then, I like to see what the lesser classes are doing. And speaking of lesser classes, here's Reginald, our re resident psycho. Are you picking anything up at all, Reginald? Well, hello, Gerbert. No, I'm not picking up anything. Yeah, yes, I am. No, it's gone. Well, that's fantastic. On my left here is Trevor, our resident guide. Trevor, why have you dragged me here to Morecambe? Thank you, Your Majesty. We've come here to Morecambe to uh, find out what's going on at one of the local hostelries just over the road here behind me. Uh, we've had instances of food disappearing unaccountably. We don't know what's going on, but we hope today to find out. Food? Yes, food, lots and lots of food has made unexplained disappearances. Mm. Yes, I can imagine Oh, that. hang on. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hang on. Hold on, Reginald's getting something. What is it, Reginald? Come with me, Gerbert. Come with me. I'm coming. Thank you. <laughs> it's no. entering. It's entering. <laughs> no. It's it's gone. It's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. And there we have it. It's gone. Reginald, the resident psycho, almost had something, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Trevor. Yes, only last week. It was just wind. Only last week. I'm sorry, Trevor. Hold on a minute. Reginald, what? It was just wind, Gerbert. It was, it was just wind. <laughs> what a nutter. Anyway, yeah. Yes, only last week we had reports of a scone disappearing from a plate. Mm, a scone. A scone with butter. Oh, mm. no. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, hang on, I foresee something. He's foreseeing something, ladies and gentlemen. I Just hang on there, Trevor. Something. He's foreseeing. <laughs> Whilst he's foreseeing yeah, something. Get away, away with the it. Scum. Well, I, away. I believe away, tournaments were involved at the time, the and we're hoping to find out the strange occurrence, what went on. <laughs> strange occurrence, indeed. And it better be, otherwise I'll be preparing the royal gun. He's over there, Gerbert. <laughs> Later, is there? Is it there? He's what? Is, there. That, is it yes. there? He's gone he's over there. there. I don't know what it is he's on about. Quite frankly, I think he's mad. Let's get to the cafe and find out what the story is. Follow me. I'm here with the proprietor of the bow window in Bear, Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis, what's been happening in your cafe? So many things are disappearing. One minute they're there, and then they've gone. I can't believe it. It's terrible, you know. Mm. It's bankrupting me. Bankrupting, you say? Um, is that uh, making it hard for you to pay your taxes? Very much so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Jeeves, when you've done that, make a note of that man's name, will you? Well, Davis. Gareth Davis. Mm. Yes, Mr. Ravis. Mr. Ravis, get his name down, will you please? So what kind of things have been disappearing then? Van der's luxury sticky toffee pudding. Mm. Choice fillet steak. Mm. The far guar on the patty. Mm. All these things missing. Mm. All these things missing, ladies and gentlemen. So have you had any paranormal experience in the cafe? Sometimes a dishwasher runs in the middle of the night. There's nobody here. And yet it runs and runs. Is that it? Many other things. Taps running mm. and yet nobody in the toilets. Mm. Taps running and nobody in the toilets. Reginald, what do you make of that? Where's the uh, toilet? I need a pee. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you, Mr Davis. 
Thank you very much. Probably number two, actually. Well, it was either uh, caffeinated or decaffeinated, um, but, you know, I've waited long enough, so... I thought, well, I'll have a uh, caffeinated, really. Are we on? Uh, hello, my name is Reginald. Ooh, and with me I've got uh, Trevor. Your name's Trevor, isn't it? That's correct. Great. And what's the crack, Trevor? There is no crack. There is no crack. Uh, we've tried plastering and we cannot paper over it, but there's no crack. Right, but the food's been going missing, hasn't it? Ah, yes. There, we've had one or two, maybe three occasions when things have gone inexplicably missing. Right, doesn't sound too good, but I do believe there's spirits around, isn't there? Only over at Rodin pub on top shelf. I'm afraid that's the only spirits around here, mate. Uh, Trevor, I'm not talking about the dog and balls. I just want to know what's going on in here. Several times, items of food have inexpli inexplicably disappeared. Inexplicably? Did we leave? That's, gone, yeah, that's okay, correct, right. But the, the thing is, the spirits have been taking him, haven't they, the ghosts? Well, on the occasion, a scone did go missing. Exactly. So, what's going on? There's spirits around this place, isn't there? We tend to think not. You've seen something? No, we have not. You've seen a ghost? We have got you people in to try and explain these things. There you go, confirmed. He's seen the ghost. Thank you very much. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Oh. So, here we are, Mrs uh, Fun Funny. Um, tell me your story about what's been happening in the cafe. Oh, hello, Ducky. Well, do you know, I love coming to this cafe. It's a really nice place, but just occasionally there's some funny things happen. I came in the other day for a scone. Mm. And I turned round to admire the view outside, and when I looked back, it had gone off my plate. Now, I, I hadn't eaten it, mm. and it, I looked on the floor, it wasn't mm. there, so I don't know where it went. Maybe one of the staff pinched it, I don't know. Mm. What well, was then, on your plate, then? It was, it was a scone with jam and cream mm. on it. Mm. And then another day I came in, and I had some toasted tea cake. And the same thing happened again, half my tea cake disappeared. Now, I didn't like to say mm. anything, you know, because you don't like to cause trouble, do you? Mm. But, I mean, I do was a bit worried. I like to come in this cafe because I have a bad hip, you see, and sometimes when I've been walking on the prom, I like to go and have somewhere to sit. Yeah. You know, so it yes, was... Yes, that, that's marvellous. Uh, Reginald, have you, um, have you sensed anything yet? Funny you should say that, Gerbert, because I feel myself being possessed right now as we speak. <laughs> It's happening, it's happening. I'm being put the fight ever to call out. Slam, slam, slam. Betty loves dick. Betty loves dick. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Reginald, for that. Uh, that's Reginald, our resident psycho. He's still not uh, sensed anything, the proper word, in the cafe, so... What can you say about that? Well, I really don't know what to say, because, as mm. I said before, oh, said I mean, I've no idea what, what's been going on. Where, I mean, where did the food go to? Well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know whether there's a mm. staff. I didn't see anybody wandering mm. around looking well, strange. Staff, yeah. And I don't think I ate any of those things. I'm pretty mm. sure I didn't. I no. know I'm going a bit daft, but no. I didn't think I'd eaten anything when I, you know, couldn't remember. But, I mean, who is this bloke, this Reginald? Mm. I don't know. He keeps following me around. Oh, does he? Mm. Does the he producer, keep... Oh. The producer said he was someone, an expert or something, but I don't know. But, oh, I, I don't see. Know. Right. Well, I mm. hope he can get to the bottom mm. of it, because I'm completely mystified. Mm. So how often do you come in the bow window? Well, whenever my hips bothering me and there's a nice day like today, you know, mm. a sunny day, I like to go for a walk on the sand mm. and, you know, and mm. you get a bit tired sometimes. I think I'll go into the bow window cafe and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a piece of cake and hope to goodness nothing keeps pinching it because mm. it's really weird. I just can't understand it at all. Mm. No, I can't either. Reginald, anything yet? <laughs> I am talking to the aliens. Watch me alien video on YouTube. Pass me the royal gun. It's just nothing but raining and it's miserable outside and I've come in here just to keep warm and dry out and get some shelter and meet some of my friends and have a great cup of tea and something to eat. Thank you, Jeeves. As long as nothing disappears off the plate again. <laughs>
problem sometimes. And that solves another mystery for Gert's bucket. Isn't that right, Reginald? Say what, Gerbert? <laughs> Pass me the royal brick, Jeeves, would you? Yes, a lot of my friends come in here and they have a good time with me and lots of things to eat and drink. Especially when it's like today, it's going to be doing outside, isn't it? A good rain. Mm, thank you. And they hit the nuts about at the moment. 